What's up guys and girls, Lazy Dragon here, and welcome to Plague Inc. Evolved, which recently released its new Shadow Plague mode, which is basically a vampire plague. Yay! Choose where your vampire emerges. It's Plague Inc. Evolved's gameplay. Like, there's absolutely no difference. And we're starting off in Turkey. Seems like a good place to put a vampire. Your vampire can change the world, because every vampire needs just a little bit of motivation to get them through the day. So far, we have killed 14 people and infected nobody. As far as plagues go, we're not top tier. Now here's a quick list of all of the abilities the vampires possess. Transmission, none. Symptoms, one. Vampires, oh, there's multiple things here. Oh, isn't that nice? Also, we named the plague Nicky Noxy Moo. For, so I've got no bloody idea why I called it that. It mentioned that the pre-made name said something about Nox, and for some reason I thought, that's a dumb name. I can come up with something way better for a plague. Also, because I kind of want the world to be wiped out by vampires that sound like they're from a children's television program. Quick, get inside! Bar the doors! It's the Nicky Noxy New Clan! Oh yeah, we want to give them a layer. Vampires are like onions, and they need a layer. Vampires gain ability to enter a blood rage, will attack research military facilities. We've only currently got one vampire, so it's not going to end well for us if we attack a military base. Nightwraith. Vampires adapt to the modern world and figure out how to use the internet to seduce their victims. Yeah, able to feed much more stealthily. That's basically what I said. We'll have one of them as well. Oh, and the ability to turn into a giant bat. Hell yes. Mutate into a vast winged bat-like creature. So a bat. Now, the vampire update did come out a little while ago for people who play Plague Inc. on their phones. But who cares about them? You can't hook a capture card up to a phone. Well, I mean, you probably could. It'd be difficult. You'd need, like, need, like a bunch of really little wires. And that just sounds like a lot of effort. It's business as usual in Turkey. We've killed 58 people. And that's it. We have got a lazy vampire. Let's use our layer power to create a lair in Turkey. Here it can heal itself and give us an achievement. Rare achievement unlocked. 1.2% of 1.2% pl of players have built a house. Fairly certain that number would go up if this was Minecraft. Ooh, I bet the rest of the world is shaking in their boots. One of these days we'll have you, Greenland. And possibly Australia. And Madagascar. I see you there. You've been a thorn in the vampire's side for too long, you small island nation of dancing lemurs. I mean, Turkey's fairly close to Transylvania, right? And they start with the same letter. I'm sure we're close enough to where the vampires were created. Just hop that little border there, run up a bit, and bam! Turkey's kind of like a holiday home for vampires. It's far enough away to feel exotic, but close enough that you can still run home if you accidentally, I don't know, shit yourself whilst biting someone. And I've suddenly had a great idea for a vampire story. Count Diarrhea. Vampire feeding attracts attention in Turkey. The vampire feeds by drinking the blood of its victims. No shit. Leaving behind drained corpses. It is only a matter of time before the humans realise that they are dealing with something far worse than a murderous cult. Um. Okay. So with this information, we should go and murder more people. Okay, we've still only got one vampire, but I've got a good feeling that if we enter Blood Rage and attack a military facility, then things will go well for us. Here we go. Blood cult murders continue in Turkey. Authorities in Turkey are battling to stop the blood cult murders that are terrifying the country. So far, no one has been caught. We are a fucking master of disguise. We've attacked a military base and we've still not been caught. Transform vampire into a bat and fly somewhere. 
Hey, what? No, guys, I didn't do that. All I did was block a military base. And look at the number of dead saw. We've gone from 200 up to about 50,000. Must feel good to have your numbers explode upwards like that. Blood cult leader tracked in Turkey. Authorities in Turkey have confirmed they're tracking a highly dangerous individual. Ah, yeah, 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 I'm a vampire, you can't kill me. I'm amazing. Although, I may want to flee the country. Just, you know, for safekeeping. Oh, this is how you... Oh, this is how you infect humans. You actually have to buy upgrades. And here I was just thinking that people would turn into vampires because they really loved the Twilight, but... <laughs> nope, couldn't get through the sentence. Nobody loves the Twilight books. Create a new vampire by temporarily producing toxic mutagens. Almost all infected will die, but eventually a viable host will be found. Booyah! Yes please, we need more vampire bros. Vampires visit hundreds of humans each night and marks them with blood, like some sort of reverse Santa Claus. He breaks into your house and instead of delivering presents, he just coats you in blood. Boom. Vampiric awakening begins. Hundreds of millions of people will be killed by Nicky Noxy Noo as it searches for a viable host to turn into a vampire. I'm really glad we chose that name. Spooky music. If people could stop dying, that would be marvellous. We've infected people in the Middle East! Hooray! How do I put vampires there? This... The controls don't make any sense. We're infecting more people, which is marvellous. Still don't know how to move vampires from one place to another. Oh god, we're going to be trapped in Turkey forever. This was a mistake. Yes, let's make them struggle to sleep at night. Truly, we are the most evil creature to ever haunt the world. Oh, and we're going to make them look pale. That's... That's villain material if I ever saw it. And victims develop additional muscle mass and appear healthier and more attractive. Just checking, we are the bad guy in this scenario, right? Is our plan to create a world full of just really attractive people? What is your endgame, vampires? And it better not rhyme with the word porgy. Steroids manipulate pheromone production, making victims more charismatic and able to easily seduce others. We've made them more attractive, and now they're more willing to sleep with each other. Not entirely sure where this plague is meant to be going, but I like it. Templar Industries reveals global vampire threat. Twilight did lie. Humanity discovered us. This is bollocks. The shocking blood cult murders, as well as the outbreak of Nicky Noxy New. Templar Industries claim to be taking a yeah, 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 go away. We're a vampire. You can't kill a vampire. There's, like, one of us. Vigilantes in Turkey fight vampire. Oh. Guys, come on. I just want to be your friend. There's a grand total of one vampire in a single country. Oh, bloody hell. Templar Industries activate military protocols. Claiming humanity is at risk of extinction. Well, I mean, we can make Turkey go extinct. I don't think that's really too much of a problem. Right. Would the rest of the world mind looking the other way whilst I finish up in Turkey? That'd be great. Wait, wait, wait. They're only just now placing us on the watch list. They've already organised a huge multinational military effort to stop us, and only now has the United Nations gone... Hey guys, this disease might actually be bad. Whoopsles. 10 out of 10, United Nations. Glad you're taking part. How do I get more than one vampire? This is ridiculous. More infectivity. Sure, why not? Maybe this will give us a second vampire. Fingers crossed. They built a new lab in Iceland. 
These sons of bitches have finally figured out how to play the game. Iceland's almost impossible to get to. Well, Turkey's practically dead. And still, we have a grand total of one vampire. He's killed over 40 million people. He has been a very busy vampire. Maybe one of these days he'll have a vampire friend. We can hope. <laughs> oh, that's, that's one hell of a headline right there. Oh, come on. How do you know where my lair is? I have got the one. How would you like it if I came to your house and blew it up with a drone strike? Actually, that gives me an idea. Go! Go attack another country! Why can I not attack another country? Why is my vampire so lazy? Ooh! Vampires, they always want to go on holiday to Spain. That's what I've learnt. My god, you're a slow-moving vampire. Today, genius. Well, we finally figured out how to play the game, so that's something. How's it feel, Spain? How does it feel? So, hang on. We're vampires, but we have to buy the ability to transmit our disease via bats. That seems a bit backwards, game. No! They blew up our lair in Turkey! This will significantly weaken the vampire if I hadn't already run off to Spain. Time for a blood rage, boys! You blow up my house, I'm gonna blow up yours. Power symptom mutated. I don't know what that is. What does that do? Power, power, power. Gives victims a deathly white appearance. Hang on. Deathly white appearance, but we've also got the ability that makes victims appear healthier and more attractive. What's it? Are the citizens of the future really sexually attracted to bedsheets? Ah, Central Europe. That was not a very good Transylvanian impression. I do apologise. We'll fly here, and we'll build another lair. And then we'll blow up their base. Genius. Pew. That's another lab destroyed, completely gone. These boys are running out of ways to stop us. Well, that's GG, everyone. They've figured out how to cure us. Hmm. But they can't stop me from murdering everyone. Oh, and so ends the tale of Nicky Noxy New. The vampire has been killed. GG, everyone. It's over. Well, we killed about six million people. We're officially as bad as Hitler. But unlike Hitler, we get to try again with an even stupider name for a plague. Genius. Absolutely genius. Shakespeare himself could not have come up with a better name than that. Something is waking, yada yada yada. Let's go back to... Actually, do we want Turkey again? No, let's have Central Europe. Vampires are supposed to be from Transylvania and we've put them in Poland. That was a mistake. The controls are really difficult. Bat form, lair form, blood rage, and increase the speed of the heals. Marvelous. And it begins again. Nicky Noxy New 2 Electric Boogaloo has been released by a vampire. Infected humans have no idea what the vampires have planned for them. Okay, this time we focus on the transmission rather than making people very attractive. I know it'll be difficult, but I think Nicky Noxy New 2 has exactly what it takes. Now this time we're going to play it smart. We're going to move from country to country before they manage to get a lock on us. This way we can have tons of holiday homes and we'll push up the price on the housing market 
thereby forcing everyone else out onto the streets and we'll win an economic victory. I'm glad the vampires went to the Indiana Jones school of plotting out your destination on a map. Hopefully nobody else is trying to spy on us or, I don't know, use this information to wipe out vampires. Because apparently we've got a giant black trail just oozing out of our bum. Banks report record profits? I can fix that. The developers of Plague Inc. Evolved are apparently supporters of the Flat Earth theory. Because we can't travel from Canada to Russia. No, 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 no. Because as we all know, the Earth is a rectangle. So we can only travel in one direction to get to Russia. Fine, we'll go to America instead. See how you like that, you flat earth bastards. Whoa, what the hell happened to Greenland? My vampire's in Colombia. How, how did they get infected? Well done, Greenland, for infecting yourselves. You've managed to get us noticed by who, but who cares? The entire country infected. And I didn't even have to do anything! The plan is working! All we have to do is build so many homes that everyone else gets forced out onto the street! Genius! Would you look at all that purple? And now we're mutating symptoms without even having to do anything! See, this is why you should not let vampires onto planes. Look at all that purple in our little world tour. Look at it. It's beautiful. Beautiful. We blow up their lab. Ha ha. Now let's go blow up some more. Because for some reason they put three labs sort of within walking distance of each other. Not entirely sure who the genius was that came up with that idea, but okay. Templars working to cure Nicky Noxy new too. Oh, but this time I'm prepared. And we've got the ability that lets us heal ourselves whilst murdering people. Otherwise known as the Wolverine Factor. Van Helsing's doom. We have blown up some Templars. Ooh, yeah. Europe is ours, and Asia's next. Oh. Well, like, parts of Asia anyway. Gonna take us a little while to get to Indonesia. So many facilities that I have destroyed. So many facilities, and so many dead humans. Yet they're still somehow at 92%. What is this bullshit? We've conquered half the world, god damn it. Oh, they cured us again. The cure for Nicky Noxy 2 Electric Boogaloo has been completed. Looks like the vampires are not going to have their day today. We can still wipe out another Templar fort, just for old time's sake. Take that, you Italian bastards. If we die, it'll be so worthwhile. It doesn't matter. We've died. It's over. But humanity will never forget Nicky Noxy New or Nicky Noxy New 2 Electric Boogaloo. The world may well end up being cured, but years from now I'd like to think that in textbooks all across the globe, children will get a small snigger when they laugh at the name Nicky Noxy New almost wiped out humanity. That's the end goal here. Vampire slain in Poland. That's it. GG, everyone. Oh, no. <laughs> it's over. Well, thank you all for watching. So ends the tale of Nicky Noxy New 2. I hope you've enjoyed this little trip to Plague Inc. Evolved and its new Vampires DLC, which isn't technically new if you own a smartphone. But let's be honest, nobody buys smartphones anymore. 
It's all about having the data directly implanted into your face. But until the next time we can think of an equally ridiculous name for a plague, farewell everyone.